talking about coming back from stuff, I'm sure some of you guys have already seen this, but Diddy decided to pop up on social media and officially apologize for the video that's gone, of course, somewhat viral online where he assaults Cassie on camera. And this was in 2016. They were in some hotel somewhere and Diddy ran out in a full towel, well, half naked, basically only towel covering him and went in to, and basically kicked um, and punched um, Cassie while she was on the floor and then, and then actually threw a vase at her head while she was lying down also, right? Some really, really disturbing things you see on video. You're like, bloody hell, mate. This is absolutely brutal. This is a lot to deal with and to see in real time. But it definitely... Um, put a lot of kind of truth and validity to the earlier claims that were put out there and definitely um, was counter to his narrative that people were just out there to get money and to kind of you know get a name from him so they decided to jump on social media and try and clear his name or try to like stem the tide of negativity coming against him and um, the apology was uh, was a little bit unhinged I'm not gonna lie a little bit unhinged let me play the apology for you right now it's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life sometimes you gotta do that I was fucked up I mean I hit rock bottom but I made no excuses my behavior on that video is inexcusable I take full responsibility for my actions in that video I'm disgusted <laughs> I was disgusted then when I did it I'm disgusted now I went and I sought out professional help. <laughs> I had to go into therapy, and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. Truly sorry. So obviously you can tell, you know, all the beats that you need, right? When you're when you're the gaslighting, manipulating king, you need all the beats about being in a dark place, about the rehab thing, um, seeking forgiveness in a way, almost religious in the, in kind of explanation. But in general, the thing that kind of stuck out to me was like the lack of sincerity is just palpable. It almost reminds me of that Travis Scott video. Remember when Travis Scott um, first came on social media after the whole Astro World tragedy, where unfortunately those ten concert goers passed away at Astro World, and he tried to like do the fake like cry like hurt thing online, like on camera, where he was trying his best to try and force an emotion of sadness or something, where you know deep down he really didn't give a fuck because we all saw the videos, we saw how he was acting when people were fainting and being crushed in the crowd. He was almost annoyed that the show had to stop. He didn't really give a fuck. So this definitely reminds me a little bit of that Travis Scott video. But it's also, this is way more, um, this this also lacks a lot of sincerity because if you remember correctly, when the original lawsuit was put out and Diddy settled in record time in under 24 hours, he put out a statement that said, people are out there trying to basically lie on me for a quick buck. The things that you hear about me aren't true. So essentially saying, hey, these allegations, this lawsuit aren't true. The fact that I settled isn't a rep isn't an, isn't basically an admission of guilt. I'm gonna clear my name. But the video describes exactly what we what we read in that lawsuit. The video was a a direct description, a direct video representation of what Cassie wrote in that lawsuit. So now everyone with a brain, myself included, sees that lawsuit and thinks, oh, everything else in that lawsuit was definitely true then. The rape allegations, all the other stuff that happened in there was definitely true. And it, and even if, if anything as well, for people that were, because I think a lot more, a lot of people myself were already believed the lawsuit. The lawsuit was too extensive, was too well done. Or sorry, it was too detailed. Came from somebody that was a trusted person by the side of Diddy for a long time, which was of course Cassie. It was resolved in under 24 hours. For me, it was already a wrap. That lawsuit, everything was written in it was to me true. But there were some people that doubted it. There were some people that even doubted a little further the Little Rod lawsuit because the details are too salacious about the pink cocaine, the young Miami thing, I should be in, yeah, all this sort of stuff, right? Everyone was probably a little bit too like, oh my God, this is obviously not true. But now, because we've seen this one video of Diddy beating Cassie in that hotel in 2016, it now makes all those other allegations way more valid. They now become way more believable. That's the issue that he has. 
because he lied obviously we know the fact that he lied and we've got the video but that entire video has essentially um in a way authenticated or brought a lot more truth to those other allegations from little word and obviously the other ones from cassie in the original lawsuit itself so he doesn't really have a leg to stand on no one believes him and he's only saying sorry now because the video came out because maybe things could have been different public perception wise when the lawsuit came out he said this but i don't think he could have said this anyway when the lawsuit came out because you know you probably you probably would be advised against it from your um representatives but the fact that he's saying this now once the video is out you know fuck you jamie you're done basically it's over um but i'm curious to see what actually does happen to him going forward because he's in one of those rare positions where unlike like harvey weinstein it seems like he's not going to get criminally charged for anything because i think the lapd put out a statement where they said that it happened too long ago so they can't really charge him for that assault anyway which is probably the reason why cassie went to civil route in the first place um to get something from it especially money reputational damage from him obviously is going to be advantageous but i'm curious to see what actually happens to someone like him where you can't get done trick you can't get tried criminally your reputation's in tatters but now you can have to pay a ton of money civilly because i'd imagine off the back of that video a ton of other people will probably come out now and feel brave about coming out um and it will obviously lend more credence to the other lawsuit you put out there you might want him to go away so you try and settle out court so will it get to a point where he just runs out of money um and what does that look like will he get to a point where he tries to rehabilitate his because i i can see an angle and again this is a really mad thing to see but i can see a scenario where did he try to do like the black council anti-council culture grift because in white circles when you get cancelled the thing you do is that you lean right you go conservative in the black space i feel like if you get cancelled for something especially if it's like a sexual thing especially if it's a sexual violence thing you go down the christian route you go down the so maybe he starts to you know he goes he gets baptized he changes his name he becomes a pastor i can see that route being a thing because if one thing about the black community they we love to forgive people that sh don't need our forgiveness right everybody loves to fucking offer their hand of forgiveness whatever you know use religion as a crux for awful evil shit so i can definitely see a scenario where he, diddy becomes pastor diddy and then that's how he tries to rehabilitate his image and then he gets his family on fucking stage and all this shit and he might call himself pastor abraham i don't know he gets a new name that's definitely the way to kind of go about it because there's no other way well no thing he can do he can't he can't do the whole he tried it in this apology to do the whole mental health thing like oh i was in a dark place as i shut up like, <laughs> like no one believes you so i'm sure he's gonna try and do some angle to try and make it work for him and try and spin it in another way but what a crazy crazy timeline to kind of live in real time um to see this stuff kind of play out in public has been kind of wild and it's also been kind of wild to see all the people that were like saying that it wasn't believable because you know there were some people out there especially men who were basically saying that cassie was doing it for a check and she wasn't really you know why didn't she speak early that was the main defense why didn't she speak early? why didn't she speak early which is a really insane thing to say when most of us know even if you're not even if you haven't been involved in situations where someone's been violent but just from observation so you know just from anecdotal experiences you'll know that people in abusive relationships don't leave normally until like what is it i think the average is like seven times right seven attempts it takes them for them to actually leave and seven attempts is no there's no you know it depends on how long that could be over a year over several years but it takes seven attempts to officially leave a crucial relationship which is made even harder when the person is somebody noteworthy um somebody who's influential somebody as powerful as diddy so the fact that cassie took th that long to kind of come out with the story isn't surprising to me in the slightest it really isn't um but some people were surprised by it and where they were sort of like saying oh because she didn't come out sooner it's not true well now we know it's true and now these people are fucking quiet they haven't said a single word online which again is pretty disgusting in itself like if you're gonna if you're gonna defend him loudly when this stuff comes out you should also be retracting your words loudly also but again you don't probably probably don't need him to say sorry who gives a fuck but it's just funny to see those people 